I've got a bad case of dad bod. I'm a middle-aged dad, and this is my journey to get back in shape by rediscovering my childhood love of cycling. Come on and take a ride with me. Okay, welcome back to On Your Left. We're here at the side of the road on Schoolhouse Road. Today is the nicest day that we've had in quite a while. Um, snow is thawing, roads are in pretty good condition. Um, only wet spots I see is where there's runoff from the snow. Um, so it looks like we're starting to thaw out, which is a good thing. Hopefully, um, you know, it'll be a couple of weeks and maybe some of the trails will start to be rideable again. So um, this road today, um, has a good shoulder. It's a little bit of a main road, goes through an industrial park, so it doesn't get too much traffic in the middle of the day, especially while we're still in a pandemic lockdown. Um, so it should be relatively peaceful. There will be cars going by, but not too many. So we'll go down Schoolhouse Road to the other end and maybe do a little bit of um, main road down there, Elizabeth Avenue, which is a little bit busier, but it's also got good shoulders, and it's a good, nice, long, straight ride. So, um, well, I'm not going to talk too much now. I'm just gonna gonna hit it. Let me just double check my cameras are on because I got burned by that last time. And let's get going. First little stretch is a little bit uphill. Uh, drop down to a reasonable gear, but uh, well, let's just take off and go. All right, there we go. Takeoff's not too bad. It's a really shallow hill. Oh, we got a flight of geese overhead. I'm sure you can hear them. Hope I don't get hit by anything. All right, almost at the top of this first hill. A little bit of an incline, can feel it. It was definitely more of a challenge the first couple of times I tried it. Yeah, start of today's adventure was a little interesting. If you remember last time I checked in, I may have mentioned that my back tire felt a little weird. But when I checked it, it seemed like it was okay. <sighs> Turns out I was right. Took the bike out of the garage, hooked up the pump, gotta adjust my pressure, do my pre-flight checks, and all that good stuff, and my tire let go. Completely deflated. Right there on the, right there in the garage. So the tubes I'm using, using have Schrader shreds, ah, Schrader stems. Where it looked like the problem was, one of the seams right where the stem meets the main part of the tube split a little bit. So it probably started leaking last time and just let go today when I pumped it back up. All right, another hill coming up. This one's a little bit more of a challenge. Actually gonna back off a gear. Nice thing is while I did that, I took the time to do some stuff that uh, I probably should have done a while ago, like oil up my chain, clean up a few parts that had some dirt accumulated on them and stuff. So my shifting's a bit smoother today. Is nice. Yeah, this hill's still a little bit of a challenge. I'm doing all right. Again, not extreme, just I'm not going to be doing serious speed up. But other than that little bit of bad luck, it's been a good day. Definitely much warmer than 
than I thought it was going to be. It's a good thing because it means the roads are in good shape. Actually, back down, I was wearing a wearing a pullover before this. And while I was fixing my tire, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to. I was sweating fixing my tire, so backed off and switched out my pullover for my uh, big uh, neon high visibility t-shirt. Which honestly is something I should be wearing more often. Alright, past the worst of the hill. A little bit of, more of a rise up ahead, but it looks like it's really shallow. If I remember correctly, it is really shallow, so I'm going to gear up a little bit. Yeah, I still need to get that tune-up that I've been putting off. But uh, cleaning up my chain, giving it a fresh coat of grease, of, um, well, chain oil, has really helped a lot, actually. Yeah, I do need to... Do need to sit down and uh, give my bike a nice deep clean before I take it in for a tune-up, though. And some parts of it are kind of disgusting. A while back, I uh, hit a nasty pit of sticky clay mud. Even though I hosed the bike off right away after that, this stuff is really sticky. I'm still finding bits of it all over the bike, especially when I flipped it over to, to fix my tire this morning. I want to clean that up just because I don't want the embarrassment of tech at the bike shop going, oh God, this guy doesn't take care of his shit. <laughs> Pardon my friends. up in the more industrial area. I said even with a it's not much shoulder or the shoulders still covered in snow, the road's nice and wide. And a little more traffic than I thought there would be. But it's not bad. I'm feeling pretty safe, pretty visible. And as you can see over in this section, there is definitely more shoulder on most of this. Well, not here, but the section that I was just in, it's just covered up in snow. In this section where there is no shoulder, it's a nice wide roadway. definitely not keeping up a good speed up that last hill, but I am now. Whew. Yeah, definitely, definitely feels like spring again almost. A little bit of a chill, a little bit of a breeze, but other than that, it's really nice today. Nice clear day, nice and sunny. And might be able to see on the camera the roads are like almost dr completely dry. Good time. 
the pavement in this in this area is really nice too. It really does help a lot. You can definitely feel the, the riding more efficiently on smooth pavement as opposed to choppy pavement or there's a lot of debris in the road. At the very least, it's more comfortable. Coming up on the main road. It's a much busier road. It's got good shoulders though. And good room to ride. Nice smooth ride. And I think I'm gonna turn right, go to the south, stop at the entrance of the park down there. I can turn with the light and not have to stop. <laughs> There's a park down there. It's got a nice road going through the middle of it. That I have no doubt should be clear by now. So I can cut through there and circle back after I sign off with you. Oh, we got some roadkill. I ran into a truck. Yeah, behind some of these houses are some wood, wooded areas. So I'll probably get, uh, probably get deer coming through this area a lot. This road I really could have taken in either direction to start looping back. I feel like checking out the park today. At least the main road through the park will be clear. walking path that kind of wanders along probably is not clear I think there's some off-road trails back there but I had never really explored them I don't think there's much of them I have no doubt that those are still a mess so we're almost at the park a little while longer Good road you can get up a get up to a decent speed on it I'm going into the wind a bit so I can feel the push if I was paying attention to the wind I might have gone the other way a little bit of rolling kills enough to make me want to change gears but nothing that's gonna really kill me Slowing down a little bit, I'm keeping up a decent pace. Drop down to gear, I'm keeping the same cadence, even though I've lost some speed. Those should top out at this curve. And then park entrance should be down past the next light. Got up the hill, get some speed up, and gear up. The park is a little farther than I recall it being, but we're close.
like I said, this road does get a little more traffic than normal. All right. Now, if I remember this area correctly, should be coming up on some soccer fields first on the right. Probably past the next bend. And the park just past them. Okay, it is one more light. Shows you how much I can trust my memory. <laughs> so I haven't come this way in a while. last time I came down this way I actually turned here so I remember it being a shorter distance to the park than it really is all right a little bit of uphill downhill action here's the soccer fields coming up hills. A little effort here. Feeling a little in my knees. And my injured knee is a lot stronger than it was, you know, say eight months ago, eight or nine months ago when I started cycling again. But I think my knees can kind of tell when it's kind of cold or kind of too humid. All right, this is the park entrance up here. Oh, looks like they did clear the, uh, the walking path. I'm gonna go down the road, find a safe place to stop. Up here with his shoulder. We'll sign off. Then I'll loop back and continue my, uh, my ride home. All right, stopping over here in the mud. All right. Well then, that was Schoolhouse Road and a little bit of Elizabeth Avenue. Um, nice ride, good place to get some exercise. A little uphill, a little downhill, but you know, flat enough so you can get a good run going on. So I felt like I got a good, uh, good 15 minutes of uh, cardio for doing that. Uh, I got more coming up though. Now this is maybe about a that was maybe about a third of my total ride for the day. So I'm going to sign off and get to it. But before I do, remember to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and you want to see more, and hit that notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming up. Anyway, thank you very much for your support. Help me grow the channel, keep things moving, try and get some exercise, and have a great day. Especially today, it's really nice out. If you can get out, get out. Peace out, man.